2022 started with an inventory crisis here in Orange County, but are we starting to see a little bit of a reprieve this week on Market Watch? What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of Market Watch. I'm Jason Zwalik of the Zwalik Group with First Team and Christie's International Real Estate. I hope you all had a great weekend. For those of you tuning in for the first time, each week I take a look at the local Orange County and Irvine housing markets. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you get notified every time I post. I post new videos every week about Orange County and Irvine and answer any real estate questions that may come up. For those of you that have been following the real estate market here in Orange County and really across the country, we started 2022 with a record low number of homes on the market. To give you an idea of just how low our numbers were to start the year, Last year, we had just over 2,000 homes on the market to start January, and this was a record low. Our inventory had never been that low before. To start 2022, we had 954 homes on the market. We actually were sub 1,000 homes, and that is condos, townhomes, single family residences from $200,000 to $25 million. That was all housing across the board. As you can imagine, this led to the hottest market that we've ever seen. Open houses lined up out the door, multiple offers, houses going for hundreds of thousands of dollars over asking, and really has created a lot of frustration for buyers out there. Although our inventory is still low and our demand is still high, we are seeing a little bit of a change as more homes come on the market. Now, I am in no way saying that the market is slowing down because it is extremely hot still. Homes are still going quickly, but we may see some changes as we move into the summer months. Interest rates have started to go up, and as they go up, we can expect this to quell some of the demand. This could lead to less competition out there for our buyers. This doesn't mean there won't be any competition, but you may not have as many buyers out in the market as rates continue to increase. Now, since my last video, we've had to make some changes in the categories that we look at when we're examining the housing market. If you've tuned in before, you know I break down the market into three separate categories. We have our first time home buyer category, our step up category, and our luxury category. Because of the massive amount of appreciation over the last year, we've had to adjust these numbers. Last year, our first time home buyers were anything listed between zero and 750,000. This year, we're looking at anything listed between zero and a million. Our step up has moved up from a million to two million. And finally, our luxury category is now anything listed over $2 million. Now that we've broken down those categories, let's jump in and see what happened last week. In Orange County, we currently have 1,332 homes on the market. That is up from 1,185 last week, so that's nice that we saw a little increase. We had 469 homes sell this week compared to 379 last week. The average sales price was $1,360,609. The average list price was $1,329,209 which gives us a list of sold average of 102%. The average days on market was 20, and the number of homes we currently have in escrow is 2,163, which is up from 2,043 last week. Now remember, this is for all price points across the county. And as you can see, we did see a slight increase in our inventory this week. We added about 150 homes to the market. Now again, that is not a ton of properties, especially when you're looking at countywide, but it's a start and we are starting to see some more homes come on the market. Our average days on market is still sitting at 20 days. It went up slightly from last week, but anything under 60 days is considered a hot seller's market. So sitting at 20 days, and again, remember, average days on market is from the time the home is listed until it goes into escrow. And our list of sold average is just over 100%. So homes are getting more than asking, and they are going into multiple offers. Now that we've looked at Orange County as a whole, we're gonna break it up into three separate categories. The first category is our first time home buyer category. And again, this is anything listed under a million dollars. Let's check it out. We currently have 593 homes on the market in this category. That is up from 529 last week. 
There are 1,260 homes in escrow compared to 1,207 last week. We had 256 homes sell last week in this category with an average days on market of 19 days and a list to sold average of 104%. This category is one of our strongest categories in the county simply because there are more buyers that can afford this category. So you're going to get more buyers in this category. Our buyer pool is larger. So when we see these extremely high numbers in the list of sold average and low numbers in days on market, it is expected. Again, we want to look at our inventory and we did see a slight increase in our inventory. It's only good news for our buyers, but we're still in that crazy hot seller's market, especially in this category. The second category we look at is our step up category. And again, this is anything listed between one and $2 million. Let's check it out. We currently have 356 homes on the market in this category. That is up 66 homes from last week when we had 290. The number of homes that are currently in escrow in this category is 615. We had 155 homes sell last week with an average days on market of only 16 days and a list of sold average of 104%. This category is extremely strong as well. When we look at these numbers, we're sitting at 104% list of sold average. So homes are selling over ask and with multiple offers. Our average days on market is only 16 days. So as soon as homes hit the market, they're essentially selling within the first week, week and a half. Even though the number is 16, you have to take into account there's probably some countering going back and forth. So most likely these homes on average are getting offers within the first two, three, four days of coming on the market. The final category that we're going to look at is our luxury category. This is anything listed over $2 million. Let's check it out. We currently have 382 homes on the market in this category. We have 289 homes in escrow. We had 58 homes sell last week with an average days on market of 34 days and a list of sold average of 99.5%. Now in this category, we did see a little bit of a jump in our average days on market, which is expected. As we get into these higher price point homes, the buyer pool shrinks. There's just not as many people that can afford these properties. So as we go higher in price, we tend to see homes sit a little bit longer. And I'm gonna use that term sit very loosely as 34 day average market time for homes over $2 million is still extremely quick and an extremely hot market. Our list of sold average is hovering just under 100%, which again, in our average market, usually isn't the case. We usually see that number a little bit lower as we may see several price reductions or negotiations because you just don't have as many buyers. So typically the seller may be only working with one buyer instead of the multiple offers that we're seeing today. Overall, the market is still bananas. Sellers are putting their home on the market and they are going so quickly. Buyers are getting frustrated. Some of the tips that I do have, if you are a seller, you still need to market your property properly. You need to price it correctly. Look at the last comps and price it accordingly. In this insane market that we are in, we have still seen homes sit and not sell. We've seen homes do multiple price reductions. And a lot of times they end up getting less than they would have if they would have priced their home properly the first time. Make sure you talk to an agent, get a CMA, get a comparative market analysis, look at the comps and price your home accordingly. Make sure they're doing professional photos, professional video, doing virtual walkthroughs, having a custom website for your property so it's easy to find, and really marketing it out to as many people as possible so you know that even in this hot market, you're not leaving a dime on the table. For our buyers out there, stay the course. Do not throw in the towel. You need to keep at it. You need to talk to your agent and come up with a strategy and a plan. If you're looking at multiple offers, your agent should be running an analysis for you on that property to see what appreciation will look like over the next two, three, four years. So if you do bid over asking, you'll know exactly what you're getting into and when the value of that property will reach or potentially reach what you're offering on the home. Stay the course, focus in and hire a good agent. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you're notified every time I post. If you are thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, and you have any questions at all, give me a call, shoot me a text, 
send me an email. Just get in touch with me. I'm here to help in any way that I can. I hope you all have a fantastic week. Until next week, take care, everybody. Thank you.